Next, the magician will demonstrate his powers of mental telepathy. One of his lovely assistants will act as a volunteer. He displays a rainbow of colorful crayons and shows them to the girl. Next, he tells her to select a crayon at random as he holds them behind his back. She's not in on the trick, so she chooses of her own free will the green crayon. The magician asks her to return it to him while his back is still turned. Next, he instructs her to concentrate on her crayon, removing all other thoughts from her mind. He intends to use his powers of ESP to read her mind and deduce her color. He reminds her that his back was turned, so he had no way of knowing which crayon she freely selected. No, it wasn't this one. Or this one. But it was this one, wasn't it? Pretty tricky, and it was all using the power of his mind. Or was it? So how does the magician determine which crayon his volunteer chose? Of course, it has nothing to do with ESP. Here are the secrets. When the trick begins, he displays a handful of assorted crayons. They're all ordinary and unprepared. He asks the volunteer to select one at random, and it really is her free choice. She returns the crayon to the magician's hand, and he turns back around, keeping the crayons behind him. This is when the magic takes place. While the crayons are hidden from view, he uses the chosen color to secretly mark his thumbnail, then reunites it with the others. When he gestures with his empty hand, he sneaks a peek at the color on his nail. From his point of view, it's easy to see the chosen color, a green thumb. Then he does a little acting to make it look like he's trying to determine which of the crayons she selected. But he knows which is hers the minute he sees his thumb. It's a trick you can use on your friends, now that you know the secrets.